Draw.io has a number of stencil sets dedicated to drawing rack diagrams. They're both generic elements like servers, cover plates, spaces, switches, etc. As well as vendor specific elements for APC, Cisco, Dell, IBM, HP, you name it. So to load up the rack stencils, go to draw.io. Here I'm adding the demo equals one URL parameter. That just means that I don't have to select a storage mechanism. It's simply for demonstration. If we go to the more shapes, this brings up the more shapes dialog. Now we want the rack stencils, so we'll select them and we'll remove some of the other stencils we're not going to need. If you tick the remember this setting, when you refresh the page, when you come back to Dryo, it will only show the stencils that you've selected, in this case, general and rack. So here are the rack stencils. The first two shapes are the most important containers. They are the racks themselves. So we have rack cabinet and a numbered rack cabinet. Numbered rack cabinet is simply if you want to be able to relate to a real world installation, what is on what rack. How the rack containers work is very generic. Drag any shape into them and they will fit that shape to a whole height unit. They will also lay out components of the rack in a stack layout from top to bottom. So let's drag a numbered cabinet and then we'll take, let's say a hub. So that drops into the top position. Now we take something else, let's say a switch and another switch and they all drop fitting exactly within the one U constraint. When you initially drag elements, they will all be in order from top to bottom. If you want to rearrange one, select it and drag it to where you want to place it and everything will snap into place. You can also resize individual elements by grabbing the handle and moving them and that will snap to a specific unit multiple. And of course, you can remove an element by clicking on it, you can drag it out of the rack or you can simply select it and press delete. In terms of changing the dimensions of the rack itself, you can select and drag the rack as you can any shape in draw.io. You can change the width and everything will resize to fit the width of the cabinet. And also when you change the height, you'll find that the number of rows you have increases. Each row is a fixed height. All of our rack shapes are vector images, so you can stretch them as far as you want without losing resolution. It's great for printing to a PDF. If nothing in the rack stencils meets your exact needs, try searching within the image library. So if we go back to more shapes, enable images. And let's say we'll search for a 1U server. And there's a bunch of options for a 1U server. For the results returned by the image service, which is by Icon Finder, most will be raster images. Some will be vector, but most will be raster. That means that if you stretch them, they will lose resolution, as in this case. So just to put the finishing touches on our rack, let's go back to the rack shapes and let's find some cabinet legs. Let's snap one on there. Let's snap one, another one on there. We don't have stencils in every orientation. The idea is you can select it, go to arrange, and let's say in direction, if you flip it horizontal, it'll then be facing the right way. So let's just resize our cabinet back to a sensible size. If you want everything to move as one unit, select everything, go to arrange, group, and now the whole thing is one self-contained cell that moves together.